All right, yes, I'm in a cold, uh, unfinished basement, and this is the only place I have at the current moment to work in and do videos. So this is where we're doing it at. Um, you're looking at the USB 3 video capture device from StarTech, and I purchased one of these around uh, oh, 2017, and uh, I was supposed to do a video on this, but I never got to it, and the main reason was that this was a horrible product out of the box, and I didn't want to do a negative review. And uh, it had a couple of problems. One, that if you unplug the USB cable from the device while your computer was on, in my case, Windows 10, uh, many of the times it would blue screen, and uh, you'd have to start all over. Basically, all your apps would crash, and your system would need to be uh, would need to be rebooted with just a uh, blue screen. Um, but today, I uh, installed this driver here, and uh, it seems to have fixed that problem. The other problem I had that it fixed, let me switch to my... laptop here. All right, so the other problem I had, the uh, VGA capture option. Uh, when I could get it to work, because a lot of times it wouldn't recognize it and I had to fiddle with resetting, unplugging, and plugging back in, it wouldn't capture at 60 frames per second like it's advertised. It would capture on uh, 47 frames, I believe, and the uh, video would be jumpy. And as you can see from here, um, it's no longer jumpy. And... Uh, one of the main uses I wanted uh, was to capture VGA from uh, computers. Uh, and uh, that was what was holding me back, basically, because it didn't work properly. Anyway, that seems to be fixed now, so uh, we're good with that. The only negative thing I have uh, regarding this is that it uh, the software that comes with it is not very good. Uh, so let me bring that up. Uh, here we go. So the stream capture, um, barely adequate. Uh, it allows you to select the different video sources, and supposedly it has a streaming option, but uh, I never tested that. But in terms of functionality, you can't even move this from one screen to another if you have a dual screen system like I do at the moment. So whatever screen it pops up on, that's all you're set with. Um, but uh, it seems to work fine with OBS, which has more options. Uh, so I'm actually happy again with this product. I paid the $2.20 uh, for it. It's going for $2.25 Canadian now at Amazon. It's actually a higher price now than before. Um, I'm not sure if there's a better product, but all I can say now is that Yes, it seems to work. Um, and so I promised the video and this is it. Maybe in the future I'll, I'll do some more checking on the other features. But so far this is what I've tested and this is what works.